a Vietnam era flak jacket, and some knives. Great finds today. I got in a flak jacket as well as a field knife and a couple collector's knives that we'll talk about in a second. Which one of these is worth the most? Well, this is a flak jacket. What is a flak jacket? A flak jacket is a jacket you wear home when you're in trouble with the wife and she doesn't give you any flak. That is not true. That would be worth more money than anything in this store combined. But on a more serious note, what is a flak jacket? A flak jacket is actually developed during World War II. What is flak? Flak is shell fragments. It is an abbreviation of the German anti-aircraft gun, which is a long word. But they called it flak, so it was shells, basically hand grenades in the sky to take down some of our pilots and airplanes that were bombing Germany at the time. So... There were some wounds that were that came about from this. They thought there might be a way to stop some of those wounds, so they came up with this jacket. The original jacket had some steel plating in it, and by the time the Korean War came around in Vietnam, they used there's a Dupont developed some sort of ballistic nylon in here, so it's sewn in here. Now they wore a lot a lot more wore these in Korea because of the weather, and they didn't wear them as much in Vietnam because it was hot. They were in the jungle, and they were it was. It was a different fighting experience, and these were too heavy and too hot. And these aren't bulletproof. These, these wouldn't stop a bullet, but they would stop maybe a hand grenade, some shell casings, anything, some of those wounds. that. So this, these, these did save lives um, from those particular wounds. So how, how do I know this is from 1968? Well, I'll show you. So this the Army's real good at marking stuff. You can see what size it is. And you can see right here, it's, it's ballistic, you know, it's fragmentation. And right here, after the 100, there's a 19, there's a 68. So that means this was made in 1968. 1968, of course, we were in Vietnam. We also elected Richard Nixon president. We lost two leaders. We lost Robert Kennedy in California, as well as Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on April 4th in memphis so this particular jacket did save some lives and it is from the vietnam era is this worth the most well let's see what else we have now this is the newest thing i have this is actually from glock this is a field knife a field knife so they use this for hunting you can still get these today and there is an attachment that you can use as as a bayonet but there's not a lot of bayonet usage um these days and in, in the things that we're doing um, Glock, of course, is makes a manufacturer of guns, and it, they're in Austria. This knife is well made. It is comes with its own sheath here, and is this worth the most? Now, what else we have here? We have two American manufacturers of knives. This is going to be a case knife. This is a case knife. This is actually a shark tooth knife. Now, the shark tooth knife has an interesting um, history. These originally came out in the early 70s, and they had a maple uh, finish here. But there was problems with the maple finish. So for three years, they did not release these until they could get some pack wood, is what they use here. Now, how you date case knives is by the, by the stamp there. You can see it says case double X. There's no dots. And so this is probably from the 70s. It's still in great shape. It's still a collector's knife. And the shark tooth uh, is no longer made. They stopped making these in 2009. But that is a collector's knife. And that is a cool, cool knife. Now, I also got this. And this is a buck knife. Buck knife is also a U.S. made knife. Now, the buck knives and case knives, that's what people want. And they collect them. You can see some of the tarnish there. I believe this is a 110. And the sheath, the sheath is going to bring you more money as well. And... You can see there's similar designs here. This is flat, this is rounded, and this is the buck knife. And we can tell by the dating stamp there's three dots in here, so it's probably around 1980. 1980, and it isn't it is in good shape. Now people use these knives, these buck knives and case knives, they they were 
these were tools that people use. So they're not, they're not just, I know a lot of things right now are just collectors and they want to collect, you know, pristine things. But back then you had a, you had a knife in your pocket. You used it, you know, work. This, this is a working man's tool, but now they've become collectible. Now, out of these three things, out of the buck, the buck, the case, or the Glock knife, which one of these is worth the most? Well, these these are all these are all go these go for about forty dollars. Um, the different prices on these, but this one actually has the most worth. It's it's because it's a unique design. They they're still making they're still making similar ones to these, so you can you can get these. But um, people like to collect the years. They like to collect you know the different different styles on here but this this particular knife and if you can find one that had the original maple on it i think you could have a lot of money so this is probably worth the most out of these three knives now the flak jacket the flak jacket it's heavy it is from the vietnam era is this worth the most you used to be able to get these at um stores uh army surplus stores a long time ago but these these are becoming rarer and rarer so these particular things are going up in price. And with the things we are going today, you might need one of these just to go to the grocery store. So it isn't even close. Flak jackets, especially Vietnam era, with the protective gear, are going for, yep, these, these are going up in price. They are not only a piece of history, but I think people are also using them as well. If you have any old knives, you make sure you go and you find out the dates because the dates are going to make the big difference in what you can get for them because people collect different years and they may have a certain run. But if you have the sheath, that's great. There's a sheath to here. There's not to this, to this, but that would be great. And if you had the box. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you would like, subscribe if you want to share or leave a comment if I messed up in the comments there. And out of all these things, of course, this flak jacket is going to be worth the most. And it's, it, I'm sure the, the soldiers that had this were very thankful to have this because it did save some lives. And we're very thankful for the men and women who put on this uniform and served our country when duty called.